Hey, at our church, River Cross, um, our pastor, we're doing a new series. Pastors do series, isn't it? And this new series is called, in fact, I'll show you the little logo to it. Uh, you see that? There it is. Back to the future. Back to the future. And, and we get a Bible study that we could have devotions every day in scripture, which kind of pertain to the series Back to the Future. And he says this. Uh, it says this on this little card. Read six of seven days a week and get to know God better. Interesting. I, I You know, whenever I've read scripture, I think, well, what am I going to get out of it? What do you get out of it? I've never looked at scripture. Isn't that strange? I want to get to know God better. Yes, also what I, I'm getting out of it. But this, at least back in the future, what we're gonna, how am I learning to know God better? Well, uh, let me give you uh, at least Genesis uh, chapters 1 through 6. And, and while, uh, let me give you my thought and how I'm getting to know God better. Now, Genesis chapter 1, um, I guess you can include two in this too. It's that God created everything perfect. It was perfect. It was out of nothing. He created it perfect. All of his creation, including us. Hmm. Getting to know God better. Uh, chapter uh, two. Uh, and he, he actually, it's kind of a repeat of his creation. But uh, he tells Adam and Eve, uh, uh, I want you to know that I'm going to, I got some consequences if you don't follow what I'm telling you right now. He said, there's these trees. There's a tree of life. Have at that tree. Eat off that tree. Good stuff. But stay away from that tree of knowledge. If you eat that, there's going to be some consequences. So I see uh, chapter two is uh, God gives us consequences. Chapter three, Genesis chapter three, we also call the fall um, Adam and Eve, they don't obey God. The curse comes in, which we're dealing with today. But what do I get to know God? How do I, here's how I'm getting to know God better. You can't hide from God. Isn't that funny? Adam and Eve, they find they're naked. They're hiding in the bushes or whatever. Adam and Eve, where are you? <laughs> he knew where they're at. He knows where we're at. You cannot hide from God. Uh, chapter four. Uh, God sees our hearts, knows our hearts. This is where uh, we read about Adam and Eve's first two boys, Cain and Abel. And uh, how I always remember who killed who. In Sunday school, I learned Cain killed Abel because Abel wasn't able to kill Cain. <laughs> but here's what I get out of uh, chapter uh, far, heart, four. Geez, excuse me, chapter four. Um, God, God knows he sees, he knows our hearts. He knows Cain's heart. He knows, he knows our, he knows us, the good and bad. Chapter five, uh, and this is where you read about the descendants of Adam. And a lot of times you read, well, okay, it's nice to know all these descendants. We'll read about descendants of Abraham and up, up, down the road. We read about all this stuff. But uh, what, again, what am I getting out of that? Uh, uh, God is going to continue his plan. He's going to continue his plan through the descendants of Abraham and Adam. And you can read about that. And lastly, chapter six, um, this is where the flood is going to be starting. And God starts over. Uh, God's... Uh, He's not sorry what he's doing. He's sorry. He doesn't find anybody faithful. Now, in, as Adam's descendants, no one is faithful except one person. God, uh, that's, uh, that's Noah. God saves the faithful. Now, there's my thought and how I got to know God better in chapters 1 through uh, 6. And I'll be doing more of these in uh, uh, River Cross. Uh, I hope you're doing this. Um, check it out. And uh, we're going to get back to the future and know God.